This is lesson 4-6, and this is the identity or the one property of multiplication. And what that means is any number um, multiplied by one that the product is the same, which of course we know from our multiplication that any number times one is that number. So what does that mean for division? Okay, so if we have eight times one equals eight, that means that eight divided by one equals eight. So if we have eight times one equals eight, one times eight equals eight, that means our division here that eight divided by one must also equal eight, okay? So any number that's divided by one, the quotient is the same as the dividend. The number that, that is being divided by one is also the answer, okay? So when any number is divided by one, the quotient is that number. So for five divided by one, the related multiplication fact, draw your little fact family here, we have five divided by one. So one times five equals five. So one times five equals five. So therefore five divided by one must equal five. You must be able to multiply backwards to get this. So it must be that five times one equals five. I know it seems easy, but you need to pay attention to that. You must be able to multiply backwards. Five times one equals five. So if we have a total of five, and we're gonna divide it into one equal group, they all have to go in that group, okay? Now, when any number is divided by itself, okay, so let's look at, we have eight divided by one equals eight, and then the other way to do this is eight divided by eight equals one. So if we have a number and it's divided by itself, and again, think about it, you have eight items, you wanna put them into eight equal groups, there's gonna be one item in each group. So, but also we know if this is our fact family here, we have multiplication, multiplication, division and division, this eight is going to go at the end for our multiplication and at the beginning of our division, and then we can switch around one times eight is eight, eight times one is eight, eight divided by one is eight, and eight divided by eight is one. So the same rules apply. So even though this is a pretty easy concept, it can get confusing and you can end up putting the numbers in the wrong place. You have to pay attention to that. So when any number, except zero, is divided by itself, the quotient is one. So for five divided by five, if we were going to, if you have five, divided by five equals what? You should be able to ask yourself what times five equals five? And that would be one times five equals five. So one times five equals five. So therefore five divided by five is one. Now, you have to think about this one logically. You cannot divide a number by zero. If you have five items, and you want to divide them up into zero groups. What does that mean? It means nothing. It, mean, it means you have five and you want to divide them up into zero groups, which means you do not want to divide them up, okay? So you cannot divide by zero. Think of how you can catch this though. If you said five divided by zero, let's say you say it's five. Five times zero does not equal five. Five times zero equals zero. So it, it cannot work. And it cannot work mainly because you can't multiply backwards. Okay, so five divided by something means what, what number times zero equals five, and, and there is no number that works. So again, 10 divided by zero. You're asking yourself what number times zero equals 10, and, and that doesn't work because zero turns everything into zero, okay? But zero can be divided by another number. Think about it, I have zero items and I wanna put them in five groups. How many are in each group? Zero. Okay, so, and it works with your backwards multiplication. Zero times five equals zero, okay? So five times 
zero equals zero, so therefore zero divided by five equals zero. It works backwards, zero times five equals zero, so it works. Okay, find each quotient. So you're gonna do this on the back. There are basically four different problems. Three divided by one, okay, so on the back, you'll work out three divided by one, then do nine divided by nine, then do seven divided by zero, and zero divided by zero di by two, okay? One of these is not going to work. So do those on the back, and then let's see how you did. Pause, pause the video. Okay, so let's take a look here. Three divided by one. Okay, what number times one equals three? should be three. Nine divided by nine. What number times nine equals nine? Should be one. One times nine equals nine. And if you think about it, you have nine items. You want to split them into nine equal groups. There should be one in each group. Seven divided by zero. Okay, what number times zero is going to equal seven? absolutely nothing. It doesn't work. And zero divided by two. So what number times two equals zero?